Well, today has been another cloudy day across the area and back on the warmer side. The temperature is out the door right now in the upper 70s. Winds a little bit breezy at times as well from the south around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So these breezy conditions are helping bring that moisture in place from the Gulf of Mexico. If you notice the dew points, well, in the lower 60s, so more moisture moving back in. So it's going to kind of feel a little more humid, a little bit more mucky too, especially tomorrow morning as our lows only fall into about the mid to upper 60s as we wake up for the new work week Monday morning. So a little bit on the more humid humid and muggy side as we begin the new work week. But going through tomorrow afternoon, which of course Monday is eclipse day tomorrow, we may be seeing a whole lot of clouds out there as well. So we have mostly cloudy skies in the forecast for the day, although there may be some breaks in clouds here and there to see that partial eclipse here in Baton Rouge. We'll, we'll see about 85% coverage at about 148 in the afternoon, but winds will be a really little breezy still once again and still in the warmer side, upper 70s and lower 80s throughout tomorrow afternoon. But we'll have a chance for some rain as well over the next few days and the winds too will be rather breezy as well with winds gusting about the 20 to 25 miles per hour through about Wednesday into Thursday as we'll see a cold frontal system move through the area to bring a chance for scattered shower storms and maybe a chance for some strong storms as well. So talking about that rain chance as you go through tomorrow, looking at mostly cloudy skies throughout most of the day tomorrow for your Monday through the afternoon hours. We'll see some widely scattered showers kind of make their way across the area. The best chance for that rain and storm chance will be areas near and north of the 10 12 corridors. But throughout the afternoon, early evening hours I have a chance for a few isolated storms as well. Possibility throughout the area and then most of that activity will begin to quiet down and uh, lessen as we go toward the nighttime hours. So more so on the dry side overnight into your Tuesday morning and then about Tuesday afternoon, another chance for some scattered showers and a few storms out there as well. But that rain chance really does ramp up and increase as you go through Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. You see that cold front off to the west begins to move eastward, and so likely going to see maybe a line of showers and storms kind of move across the lower Mississippi Valley. That could bring some heavy rainfall at times and some strong storms of possibility. Now this is bringing in this is the GFS model bringing this in roughly in the morning hours throughout the afternoon. So the timing could still change as we're still about four days out, but as we'll see through the evening hours of Wednesday that rain will begin to clear out of here move off to the east and behind that cold front will be some slightly cooler air especially for the mornings and we'll see some lower humidity as well. Now there is a chance for some strong to maybe some severe weather too. Here is the outlook for Tuesday, seeing a slight risk over most of central and southern Louisiana. It does include our warm western parishes and counties, but that is more so for Tuesday night overnight. And then into your Wednesday, another slight risk placed for the entire area as well. Throughout the day Wednesday, as we could see some strong storms that could have some hail, damaging wind gusts, and can't rule out even a few tornadoes possibility too. So keep an eye on the forecast for sure as we go over the next few days. Now with that, some rainfall could be a little bit heavy at times because see about one to two inches of rain across the area, locally higher amounts possible possible as well. But most of this rainfall will be occurring Tuesday into our Wednesday as well. So next few days, so just remain weather aware as we'll have that scattered shower and storm chance through about Wednesday, with Wednesday being the day we really, really, really wanted to pay attention toward. And then Thursday, drying things out a little bit cool in the afternoon, the mid to upper 70s. Lower humidity comes back for clear skies on Friday and in the mornings back on the chillier side or cooler side in the 50s and then in warmer and more drier for next weekend.